Hello guys, welcome to our training video. Today I'll teach you how to create a cool uh, GIF in Photoshop. Here I have my image opened up. In this, uh, what we can do is, uh, in one uh, image, uh, it will look like the bulb is blinking. So what you need to do is uh, duplicate this layer, image layer. Uh, if you don't have your image layer opened up, go up to the window menu on top, click on window and click on layers. And this uh, layers panel will open up. Here I have my layer 1 selected which is this image. I'll just double click this layer 1 and I'll just rename it to image, image 1. So after renaming the image, just right click on this and click on duplicate layer. So it will make an image 1 copy, just hit OK. After you have done the renaming of the layer, then come up to the color palette here, the color box. On the left click on this and drag the slider like this and select a yellow color and hit ok and grab your paint bucket tool in the toolbar on the left side click on this and click on this bulb inside this and it will fill this bulb with the yellow color once that is done what you can do is you can also color this frame and this uh, plant I'll uh, again come up to the color menu on the left, click on this and I'll select a green color and fill this plant with green, fill this leaves with green color like so. See once that's done. Then again, you can also select the color from here, the color swatches panel. If you don't have your swatches panel open up, uh, you can go up to the window menu on top, click on window and click on swatches. And you can just select the brown color from here. And I'll, uh, the paint bucket tool is already selected, so I can just fill in the pot color to brown. And the same brown, I can just put it on this table as well. Same way, I'll do the coloring for this set of image. I'll just uh, pick this color of yellow with the eyedropper tool and then I'll click on the paint bucket tool and I'll fill this sun with the yellow color and I'll uh, grab a blue color from the swatches panel and I'll again fill the sky with blue like so and the grass here can be green so I'll grab a green color from here from the swatches panel and I'll just Play, please color this green. So what you can do is, uh, I'm just giving an example. You can color, this is the simple way to color these uh, images. So once the coloring is done, you can, what you can do is uh, click on window and click on animation. And then click on this slider, which says convert to frame animation. And you can see now, right now it's only one image showing here so what you have to do is click on this to create the second animation to duplicate the selected frame so what you have to do is click on this image one the first image thumbnail and come up with the layers panel and click on this uh, image one copy and click on this eye color so it will disappear th that uh, the top layer which is the image one copy and then when you click on this the second thumbnail make sure this is selected the image one copy is the icon is selected on it so now it will color this and you can set the duration of the animation from here it shows right now 10 second to just just drop click on this arrow and click on other and just uh, set the animation to set delay as two seconds same way for the first thumbnail just click on this click on other and click on two and hit OK and the loop in instead of once you have to make it forever and then click the file menu on top click on save for web and devices and then select the GIF option from here and save and I'll just save this GIF on the desktop I'll just write animation and I'll just click save I'll navigate to the desktop and right click on this animation I just created and I'll just 
open with the browser you can use anyone firefox or chrome or whichever you use i'll open it in firefox and you can see now the gif is working every two seconds the color of the image will change uh, one will be the one without color and the next one will be with color so guys i hope you have learned something from this training video it was just simple and easy tutorial you can practice this uh, on your project uh, please do shoot me an email if you have any questions to ask i'll be happy to answer them uh, i'll be posting more videos soon guys thanks thanks for watching